here's the big question. You're interested in value investing and valuing and evaluating businesses on a deep level, but you don't know how, even after researching for hours, probably dozens of hours, hundreds of hours on the internet, and because nobody else shows you how to do it. This podcast has all those answers and much more about value investing and finance. My name is Jason Rivera. Welcome to Value Investing in Your Car. Hey, Jason here. In this episode of Value Investing in Your Car, I want to review something I'm about to finish up. Um, it's absolutely fantastic. Um, before we get to that, though, I want to let you know that you can listen to this podcast at, or these videos as a podcast now on all major platforms, Apple, iTunes, Podcast Go, Spotify, Stitcher, Anchor, Podcast Go, SoundCloud, and many more. Any major, all major platforms, you can now listen to this series as a podcast for free anywhere in the world. Okay. Having said that, I've been learning an enormous amount lately. Um, this kind of all started. Uh, I go through these phases. I've talked about this on the blog before, but I go through these phases where I go through massive learning phases and then massive kind of action phases. Uh, I've been doing an enormous amount of learning lately, and this all kind of kick started with uh, listening to the audiobook of John D. Rockefeller's biography, Titan. Um, which I will review next week. I should have it finished by next week. Um, I will review that. But as kind of a bit of a preview to my thoughts in that book, it's so fantastic that it's made me want to learn about all of the kind of titans of that era, the 18, after the Civil War to about the early 1900s. Um, John D. Rockefeller, Andrew Carnegie, uh, Cornelius Vanderbilt, J.P. Morgan, uh, to a lesser extent, Tesla, Nikola Tesla, and Thomas Edison, um, Henry Ford, all these kind of guys. So, to do that, I'm going to read all their biographies at some point. I've read a ton of biographies, not really any of theirs, though, until this, uh, this Titan one, uh, John D. Rockefeller's biography. Um, but... To kind of kickstart that, I started watching The Men Who Built America on Amazon Prime for free. It is, I'm about to finish it up, I think I have 30 or 45, uh, uh, like the last half of the episode left, or last episode left or something like that. Uh, absolutely phenomenal. Um, one of the best, probably the best, I don't know if it's necessarily a documentary, um, historical look historical series on real world people real world business titans um, absolutely phenomenal it tracks from pretty much right at the end of the civil war i think 1872 is when it picks up so shortly after the civil war with cornelius vanderbilt building the uh, railroads then goes to john d rockefeller and kerosene and the oil industry andrew carnegie and steel um and then jp morgan with Thomas Edison, General Electric, uh, eventually U.S. Steel, um, all of his gigantic um, corporations. And then I believe it's going to end up with Henry Ford in the next episode. Um, so it goes from about 18, early 1870s to about 19, where, where am I at? Um, 1909, 1910, I think is where I'm at right now. So it'll probably finish about 1915, 1920. Absolutely phenomenal. Tracking the United States and its kind of ascent from a failed experiment after the Civil War to the leading economic power of the 20th and so far the 21st century. Um, and the men who built, literally built industries, railroad industry, um, oil, kerosene, um, gasoline, eventually with Rockefeller, steel. Andrew Carnegie, electricity with, um, and I didn't even know this, I knew most of these other things, but I didn't even know this, um, J.P. Morgan and Thomas Edison, and they bought out Nikola Tesla, which I knew this part, um, to transform the world with electricity, all these kind of things. It's just, again, taking America in a 40 to 50 year time period from the worst war we've ever fought 
in terms of number of casualties for Americans um, to be called or and be, being called a failed experiment in democracy and uh, and Republican form of government to being the world economic power in again 50 years and these guys built entire industries uh, it's just phenomenal as a kind of I love history um, and I've said this again I love history and I love financial history financial history is my absolute favorite thing to learn from and frankly there's not many good kind of financial history books or series or videos or that out there um, so I, I just absolutely love this um, series um, I've known about it for a while uh, the, I, I've never really wanted I never really watched it. I knew I was gonna watch it at some point um, but I figured now would be a good time since I'm already learning about John D. Rockefeller and his biography Titan. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, again, it's just absolutely phenomenal. Uh, these guys, I think all of them, rose from pretty much nothing, except for J.P. Morgan, rose from pretty much nothing to building entire industries, becoming the most powerful people in the world. Um, in the case of J.P. Morgan, literally saving the United States government from default because he was more powerful than the United States government had more access to capital than the United States government. Um, at their heights, this was in two episodes, their last episode that I watched, at their heights, John D. Rockefeller, Andrew Carnegie, and J.P. Morgan are worth just these three, the modern day equivalent of more than a trillion dollars. Um, it's incredible. The amount of wealth and power these guys had um, how they started their businesses, how they kind of built their businesses. Um, of course, hindsight being 2020, being modern, civilized people, we wouldn't do a lot of the stuff they did to um, their workers and their employees and how they built their businesses and stuff like that, but there was pretty much no rules back then. Um, it was the Wild West, and I think they say this in the uh, series, actually, it was the Wild West of business. There's pretty much no rules. To abide by you could do pretty much whatever you wanted and the best one and that was as simple as that um, uh, yeah again I cannot recommend this series enough you have an Amazon Prime you can watch the whole series for free uh, that's why I'm watching it or you can buy it uh, I believe it's on the History Channel or yeah History Channel you can buy it um, I'm watching all the series for free on Amazon <clears throat> and one of the kind of main things I want to talk about in terms of just how absolutely amazing it is, is the amount of failure, near, near failure, that all of these guys experienced to almost going bankrupt, to almost losing businesses to rivals, to uh, major catastrophes with Andrew Carnegie and Carnegie Steel. Um, public relations, governmental issues down the road. It's just phenomenal um, to me. The, again, these guys literally, other than J.P. Morgan, came from nothing and they built the equivalent of trillion dollar industries. Um, J.P. Morgan bought out Carnegie Steel, and this was in the last episode I watched, for $480 billion, which I believe they said was the equivalent of 400 480 million dollars, which was the equivalent of something like 400 billion plus dollars in today's dollars. Um, that's just insane to kind of think about. Uh, and again, Andrew Carnegie for steel, he pretty much revolutionized the steel industry. Rockefeller revolutionized the oil and um, gas, or oil and I guess gas industry, gasoline industry. Um, Cornelius Vanderbilt with railroads, J.P. Morgan, Thomas Edison, Nikola Tesla, and uh, George Westinghouse with electricity. It's just, it's just kind of crazy to see the stuff these guys accomplished with little to no rules, little to no regulation, and the amount of stuff. I mean, they literally changed the entire world. And it's just kind of phenomenal to think about. In my opinion... I mean, and again, I'm a bit of a student of history, but those kind of a set of innovations, railroad, gas, or oil, excuse me, um, electricity, 
steal, literally transform the entire world. The only thing that even comes close to that in the modern age, in my opinion, is cars at the end of the um, cars at the end of the uh, this series. Um, the only thing that even comes close to these, in my opinion, the kind of the modern era of the last hundred or so years, is the internet. <clears throat> um, smartphones, yes, but the internet is, in my opinion, probably one of the best inventions ever. Because it's you have the ability, anybody on Earth, as long as they have access to the internet, has the ability to learn anything they want. Uh, these other innovations from that age kind of made it easier to do trade and do commerce and travel and transport goods and these kind of things. Um, so, I mean, it's just literally, it's, it's I, I don't know how else to explain how great I think this is. Um, the lessons of near failures, almost failures, and keep going. Um, business strategy, takeovers, <coughs> buying out other entities. Um, again, it's just phenomenal stuff. I cannot recommend it enough. Um, and again, it's, I still have one, or one episode or one half of one episode left. Uh, and it's just, yeah, again, it's phenomenal. Um, cannot recommend it enough. Uh, if you are a business person, value investor, investor, takeover artist, um, activist investor, um, investment banker, entrepreneur, business owner, pretty much anybody in this arena that we talk about here on Value Investing Journey, um, you should read this or you should watch this series. It's, again, it's phenomenal. Um, so many lessons to be learned about a wide range of things, how to think about competitors. Um, some of the things I just mentioned, again, incredible stuff. Um, and it's just, I, yeah, yeah, I can't, I can't, I don't really know at this point because I still haven't finished it off. I like, usually like to think about things a little bit um, so I can put it into better words. But this one I wanted to talk to you about because, again, it's just so phenomenal. Um, cannot recommend it enough. And again, if you have an Amazon Prime membership, I don't know if this, how this works outside of the U.S., but at least in the U.S., if you have an Amazon Prime membership, um, you can watch it for free. Again, I'm not sure other um, Amazons overseas have the same content or not, um, but at least if you're in the U.S., you can watch this for free. And there's not much better you're going to learn from, in my opinion, from financial history, investments, um, competitive strategy building businesses, entrepreneurship, all this kind of stuff that I just already mentioned uh, for free. Uh, it's just it's going to take your time, and it's very engrossing. The acting is great. The writing is great. Um, I literally can't think of one negative thing about it, other than that it kind of gets repetitive at the end because they keep on saying the same stuff of how these people have built America and how they've revolutionized industries. That's pretty much the only complaint I would have. Um but even then, in my opinion, it's just to reinforce things and how powerful these kind of innovations and inventions are. So, um, having said that, if you've watched this series, let me know in the comments below. Uh, I know I think it was created in uh, 2012, so I'm a little bit behind. Again, I knew I was going to watch it at some point. I figured this would be a perfect time to do it um, since I'm already reading <coughs> Andrew or not Andrew, um, John D. Rockefeller's biography. Uh, Titan, which again I'll review hopefully next week. I'll have it finished up by then. Uh, if you've listened to this, read this, or watched this, let me know in the comments below what you thought of it. Uh, again, cannot recommend it highly enough, especially for the price of free. We are value investors, we love cheap stuff. Um, and this, I mean, incredibly high rate of return on your investment. Sorry, there's my daughter in the background trying to wave at me <laughs> uh, so cannot recommend enough make sure if you like this series to like love share subscribe uh, if you're watching on YouTube or on the blog make sure to comment I respond to every comment myself if you're watching on YouTube make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified anytime we release a video and we're up around 450 videos as of this recording um, and we're adding new videos pretty much constantly uh, remember, you can listen to this as a podcast. 
um, as well on all major podcasting platforms for free anywhere in the world. Um, that's it again. One of my probably if and if you listen to this podcast or watch any or read or anything on this blog or listen to me for any amount of time, you know I read and learn and watch videos and read articles constantly. I read and learn constantly. So where would I kind of rank this in terms of some of the best stuff I ever learned from? It's I don't know. Again, I like to take time to think about this kind of stuff, um, but it's definitely up there. I would say probably definitely in the top ten from the best things I've ever learned from. And that's saying quite a bit because, again, I read 50 to 75 books a year and have done so for several years. Uh, and, again, I'm constantly reading and learning. So I would definitely put it probably in the top 10 for sure of the all-time best things I've ever learned from. So um, hopefully you, that gives you some context and hopefully kind of pushes you to watch it. If you've been somewhat interested in this, again, your time is going to be well spent. You're going to love it. Uh, and uh, that's, that sh- that's it. Um Make sure to listen, love, like, share, subscribe, and all that kind of stuff I just talked about. And until next time, I'll see you soon. Uh, Talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.